Okay, this is looking really good. Um, might have tried to get these to come up far enough to touch that, but it's a pretty small thing. This looks well built. If you wanted to, you could um, just right mouse click, edge, double click, holding down shift and double clicking. You could bevel this inside edge too. Just make that a little more rounded. Um, but yeah, this is looking really good. Um, I would say these could be a bit more centered on the side of the head. But those are really small things. Um, the only thing I think otherwise you could look at is if you look at some of the reference and kind of add some extras like you know sort of that little door and seam on his leg or the seams on the arms or some of the detail on the back. So if you wanted to take it to the next level but uh, besides that, this is a good clean model. This one I might have, I think you beveled the whole thing rather than beveling just the edges that were needed. So, for example, if I click on that in the attribute editor and then hit select and then hit delete, um, it takes the bevel away. I'm just going to isolate this for a second by clicking right here. And see, we only need the, the edges that define the the corners you don't need like all these inside edges so one way to do that is to just deselect the ones I don't need so if I convert to edges which is I think it's control F9 is it um, or I can go to uh, convert selection to oh control F10 sorry um, and then uh, let's get it from the top R F for frame selected. Hold down control, deselect those. Um, and what else do I have to deselect? Oh yeah, from the front. Hold down control to deselect and deselect all these kind of inside edges and all these. Okay. And that gives us all the edges that define the corner. And then I'll do control B. Oops. And then I can adjust the segments and the fraction. And it's just a cleaner model with a lot less edges. Um, but yeah, uh, really good work.